Hi, okay, so let's find out what we're drinking and why we should not be drinking certain things, okay? So we're gonna start off with diet soda. Sorry everybody, I know everybody really likes this soda and it's just really, really bad for you and this is why. The word diet actually, everybody tends to think that this means that you're actually gonna lose weight by drinking this product. Now the primary sweetener in diet soda, diet soda, and diet soda happens to be aspartame. And aspartame is responsible for the most amount of FDA complaints, for the, the most amount of FDA complaints. That's really bad for dizziness, for nausea, for lots of other things that are not good. It's also an excitotoxin, which means it makes your brain really, really excited. And it's also a neurotoxin. And a neurotoxin means that it eats our brain cells. It's not good. Aspartame is not good. Now, that being said, I also wanna say that the excitotoxin, it's more than sugar in aspartame, meaning that you're gonna be hungrier and you're actually gonna have more calories consumed because of your diet soda. This is really not a good choice. Now, I would never, ever say this other than this time. Now, if you have to have soda, which please, I'm gonna give you an alternative, but if you have to have it, I would actually almost rather have you drink the regular soda than actually have to have aspartame or any kind of artificial sweetener in your soda. For me to say that, you know that that's how bad I think it is. That's probably the number one thing that I try to stay away with because if you're having any sort of diet processed food, that diet food usually contains some sort of artificial sweeteners and we don't want that. So what are alternatives? Like Lynn's, I love having say Diet Coke when I go through McDonald's drive-thru and I only get the Diet Coke, lots of people tell me that. And the Diet Coke through McDonald's drive-thru, I know because I used to have Diet Coke, is super yum. And other uh, diet sodas are really good too, and I get it, but there are alternatives, and we have to take responsibility for our health. So, I'm gonna show you, right here and right now, how to make your own diet soda. So, here we go. Pellegrino, Perrier, any type of mineral water sparkling, and you open it up if you can, <laughs> and pour it in a glass. Okay, and then we're gonna cut some fresh lemon, and watch how long this takes me. Okay, I'm doing this on the show to show you that it's not, that was a bad thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Cut. Hold on. My back. Okay, so now we're gonna squish the lemon. Like this, if you have a lemon squisher, that's this. Okay, and then we're gonna take stevia in the raw, which is in a plant extract. It's actually a sweetener. So we're gonna put that in there, and it's all natural. And there we go. I'm gonna take our spoon. Now, I think this is under a minute, other than the fact that I dropped something. Okay. It's a little potiony, and you can drink it. Diet Sprite, honestly, it's really that good. Can you order this in a restaurant? Kinda, yeah, actually, because this comes in packets. This stevia comes in packets. You can ask for a lemon, squeeze the lemon, get some uh, mineral water, some sparkling mineral, and then you've got your diet soda and you've taken control of your health. You don't want aspartame, you really don't. Another alternative, you can do if you're not gonna do that. Okay, well hopefully that is my best answer. They have stuff called Zevia, which is almost kind of like this. Um, the ingredients are carbonated water, much like this, and it has um, a stevia extract. It also has something called monk fruit extract, which is just a fruit, and it has a erythritol, which is a, a sugar alcohol, and that kind of goes in your body, and your body doesn't have the enzymes to break it up, so it kind of goes in this way and comes out the same way, so you don't have to worry about that one either. So this is a really good alternative. This is lemon lime. It also comes in cola. It comes in root beer. It comes in orange. So again, you can look this up online. It's called Zevia, Z-E-V-I-A, and that's a really good alternative. Now, there's another alternative you can have, and that's coconut water. I don't have it on the table, but that's okay. Coconut water um, instead of soda. But again, if you're looking for something bubbly, we've got two and three really good ideas for you guys to do. Okay, now, Let's look at something else. Let's look at other types of drinks like Kool-Aid and Crystal Light and all those colored wonderful drinks that our kids are drinking that, or we're drinking that are blue and orange and green and red and like things like Kool-Aid. Um, if you see yellow number five or blue number six or red number 10, not a good choice because those are artificial colors and they're really, really bad for you. They're really bad for your kids too if you have kids and I'll tell you why. With the rise of ADD and other learning disabilities, they have found actually that artificial colors are a known contributing factor. A known contributing factor, yet they still sell this stuff. And knowing that, just knowing that, 
we're going to be smart and we're not going to give this to ourselves or our kids. We want more focus and we want kids that are strong and healthy. Okay, now I know people actually, I want to tell you, I know people and I'm one of these people that have children or for themselves that have taken out the artificial colors in their diet and they are feeling amazing and they're much better and their issues are better if not gone. And that's just the truth. Please look it up. Take some time to educate yourself. Also, we have our candies that we're eating. A lot of people say Swedish fish. <laughs> I know because the guy behind the camera right here is saying I want those afterwards. <laughs> well, you can't have them because they're bad. But anyway, um, these uh, are red. And if you look at the back of this, it says red 40. Red 40. Well, red 40 is an artificial color. And our kids like this. And we like this. And this is contributing to learning disabilities and to ADHD and other awful things. It's not worth the colors. Yet again, they still sell this. Okay, so alternatives. Okay, candy. If you have to eat candy, you know, with our red stuff, all I'm telling you is stay away from the colors. If you have to actually have candy, like Halloween and things like that, chocolate bars are better. I, I hate to say it. I'm giving you the alternative again, like I'm giving you having Coke instead of Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi, uh, or rather Pepsi instead of Diet Pepsi. But if you have to have that, have a chocolate bar, like a Snickers is better, to be honest with you, than Twizzlers or than Sweetest Fish or than something that has been dyed and has artificial colors in it. Um, also, if you uh, eat chocolate, like I do. The dark chocolate has like three ingredients in it. You can find like dark chocolate that has like a really high percentage of cocoa in it and that is a much better choice and chocolate actually has some beneficial um, things for you too. So and as far as um, the drinks are concerned with the colors, you know, you can definitely do something different. You can have teas. Teas are a great alternative herbal teas. They actually have some nice colors in them. If you have pomegranate tea, for example, this is my daughter, she loves it. If you have raspberry teas, any of those will change the color of the water, so it's fun for your kids. If you have kids, and you can put some stevia in it, and all of a sudden it's a sweet drink, and you have alternatives. Let's take a look at juices. Now, juices are definitely better than soda and Kool-Aid. However, that most of them are pasteurized, and pasteurized means they're heated to get rid of the bacteria. And in the pasteurization process, you kind of lose a lot of those enzymes that are really important. So that's why I would say go cold pressed if you can, if you can go out and buy that somewhere because you can't cold press at home. And that would be the way to maintain most of the vitamins and most of the enzymes for you. As a matter of fact, all of them if you get it cold pressed. Um, and the best thing to do is to make it yourself at home. But remember, when you make a glass of orange juice for yourself, you're going to put about six or seven orange in, in one glass. Six or seven oranges in one glass, okay? That's a lot of sugar to spike your bloodstream. So you have to be careful. So what I suggest to you is either water it down or have just this much, about like four or five ounces of it. And don't have it that often because we don't want to have those spikes, okay? Um, next, I want to say that not all sugar, not all juices rather are the same. They're kind of sneaky and they sneak things in because this, don't look at the thing, <laughs> this says that it is fruit punch. Now, what person wouldn't want to go in fruit punch? Well, it's, it's made by a good company. It's got uh, pineapples and apples on the back, but listen to this, okay? So if you look at the back, it contains the first ingredient after water is um, high fructose corn syrup. That's the first ingredient. This is not good. These juices are not good. So you have here, this is mango twist. Again, uh, like most of the orange juice comes like this. You think you're buying fruit. It's actually not. There's fruit in here, but if you read down, it has grape juice from concentrate, but after that has contains 1% or less of the following, and those are the other fruits. Not a good source of food for yourself. So, um, also I want to say with that, high fructose corn syrup we all know is bad, but it's mostly GMOs because in the United States, the corn here is grown with uh, GMO corn, so genetically modified corn. So that's another reason not to have these types of drinks. Stick to this stuff and stick to definitely making your own. Um, you can also try, again, um, the teas with the stevia, that's another great alternative. Um, and just eat a lot of fruit, why not, right? <laughs> okay, moving on to the next thing is energy drinks. And I have a lot to say about energy drinks. Um, I've never personally had an energy drink because I think I'd hit the roof and I'd need a spatula to get me off the roof. Um, and plus, they're really, really bad, like really bad. Okay, um, worse off is the actual diet energy drinks because not only are you getting the chemicals, but on top of that, you're adding the artificial sweeteners. You've got all these terrible excitotoxins in there. And if I were to say anything, if you have to have an energy drink, I'm not out for energy drinks. This is not a, a, um, um, a little quote for me to have you guys have an energy drink. But if you have to have one, don't have a diet one, okay? That's way worse. 
Okay, so you've got all these energy drinks, and what are these, what are these things doing? You're getting caffeine to boost your system up and give you energy artificially, and that's a really big problem, and I'll tell you why. Because you have these things in your body called adrenal glands, and you are burning them out. Your adrenal glands are actually responsible for giving you natural energy, and you're burning them out by taking all this caffeine from these energy drinks and having excess caffeine. It's really not good. It contributes to adrenal fatigue, which makes you really, really tired. And then it's also a component of chronic fatigue syndrome, and we definitely don't want that. So what is the problem, the major problem? That and the fact that you actually become addicted to these. And I'll tell you why. Because if you have an energy drink to actually make you have more energy during the day, you're slagging, you're tired, coffee, whatever it is, and then you come down, you need another one, another one. As your adrenal glands get weaker, you need more of this. And then weaker, and you need more coffee. And then weaker, and you find yourself three or four of these a day, or three or four cups of coffee a day. You're killing your natural system to make energy and you're making fake energy. And eventually, you have a need for this that, that is not found, it's not good, okay? So, what are alternatives? Well, there's not many alternatives to something giving you that kind of energy high that's fake out there. But what you can do is reduce the amount of caffeine and reduce the amount of energy you drink, and your adrenal glands will kick in and eventually make energy for you. That's a really good thing to do because our own personal energy is really kind of nice, okay? And then also, for energy, you could try also coconut water because coconut water has electrolytes and a natural sugar. So in the meantime, while you're getting off a little bit, just supplement. Just be really patient because it will happen. You will find your energy again without these substances. Okay, so let's move on to sports drinks. Now, sports drinks are actually made for athletes, that's why they're called sports drinks. And it's really, really important if you're not gonna go run a marathon after drinking this thing, or if you're not gonna run it before, or if you're not gonna use this for anything, and you're gonna go sit on the couch with it, or you're just drinking it with whatever you're eating, you're gonna have this over here kind of in a different form. Not good. Don't have it unless you're gonna go run or unless you're gonna have it afterwards to replenish your glycogen levels that have dropped, which is why these are there. They're high sugar, goes into your bloodstream, it's there to use. Simple carbohydrate, ready to go, 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 go. You're not going? don't have it, okay? Also, I want to tell you that they are certain colors. There's a blue one. There's actually all different colors of the rainbow. There's red, there's orange, and we know now that artificial colors, again, as we're talking about Kool-Aid and our candy, artificial colors are contributing very much so to the rise of ADHD and learning disability. So I personally wouldn't give these to anyone in my family and I personally wouldn't drink them in a colored form. So alternatives for sports drinks. Coconut water, it's like so very useful. This um, has naturally occurring electrolytes and natural sugar. So this would be the choice uh, to have for me as an electrolyte water or a sports enhanced water. Um, also, again, if you're not doing any type of exercising, you can have the herbal tea, which is also nice to drink if you're just not wanting a glass of water. Okay, so we've learned what not to have. We've learned that artificial sweeteners are really bad. It's the number one thing to get out of your food. Okay, really bad. We've learned that artificial colors is a contributing factor of learning disabilities and a contributing factor of ADHD. Get rid of those. It's very easy to do and it's our, in our control, okay? And that's really important. It's in our circle of influence. We can influence these things and not have them in our lives. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, that everything is bad. Well, the truth is that restaurants, companies, businesses, they're making things and they're wanting you to come back. They're doing things so that you repeat your purchase, so that you repeat coming there. That is their goal. Not all businesses are made, and the majority of them, I'd like to think they are, are not made with us in concern. It's with this in concern, with money in concern. And I understand that, but sometimes it's at, the it's at their benefit and our loss for our health and our nutrition, and it's really important to take control. Sometimes I order fish from a, a restaurant, and I know that it's been soaked in something. I'm just ordering fish, and I know that that's gonna make it taste better, but I don't want the oil that it's soaked in. I don't want that extra oil and the hydrogenated oils that are on my broccoli. I don't want that. So for me, it's, it's really important to know where to go and what to have. Also, for example, if you go to Canada and you purchase uh, a pack of cigarettes, for example, if you smoke, right on the label it says this product can kill you literally on the label and has a picture. This, there's a picture of one that says this product can give you lung cancer and there's a picture of the lungs. It's awful to see, it's a deterrent for people to actually purchase it, yet they still sell it. 
So that being said, they're still selling us. It's still about money for a lot of companies. Again, a lot aren't, and please let those come to rise, but for now, there's still a lot. And remember, now because they're not taking care of us and their primary goal is to make money, we really need to grab a hold of our health and we must take control of it. We must say, I'm not having that. They're selling it, it's not good for me, and I'm not gonna do it. You have so many other choices. Make really good choices, it makes the difference in your life.